recognise this. It's McLaren 720S. It's a few years old now, but it remains an astonishingly fast car. So fast, in fact, that were you to line it up next to the GT3 racing car and have a drag race, this would leave the racer standing. Which is wrong, isn't it? Because a racing car shouldn't just be faster around corners. It should be faster everywhere. And happily enough, McLaren agrees because it's built a faster racing car. In fact, it's McLaren's fastest car this side of Lando's ride. This mad looking thing is the 720S GT3X, the car that won the Goodwood Hill shootout this year, which is useful as hill climbs are something it can compete in. Actual races though, nope. That's right, McLaren has built a racing car that can't race which is a bit of an odd one. Now, you carry on having a look around it. I'm gonna go and put my romper suit on. What we have here is a No Limits GT3 car. The aero package and suspension is largely carried over, but there's a whole different engine in the back. Although confusingly, that is shared with the road car. The twin turbo V8 develops the same 720 horsepower and 568 pound foot outputs, but boasts a blueprinted cylinder head, strengthened pistons and a lightweight exhaust system. The gearbox, brakes and just about every other component are from the racing car and all the body panels are carbon. The options list includes such niceties as a drink system, a straw rather than a cabinet, full telemetry and a silenced exhaust. 90% of the components are changed from the road car. One of them isn't the windscreen wiper. That's carried over. All in all, it is a very serious piece of kit. So it's just as well the driver looks like a toddler heading to bed. Let's see if we can get into this with any dignity, shall we? Let that off. And squeeze through. That's not too bad, actually, but then this isn't really designed for racing drivers as such. It's designed for people who a standard 720S isn't quite fast enough. That's a different breed. Anyway, right, let's see. Steering wheel on. Like that. That's nice. Lots of buttons and switches to play with. Not a lot of space. Do, however, have a passenger seat. No one from the Top Gear team wanted to come out with me though. Oh well, sod them. This is always the most nerve-wracking bit. Startup's easy. Getting this thing rolling. They've said give it plenty of revs. And get going. And that was all right, actually. So I'll let you into a little secret. A GT3 car isn't actually that fast. But to make the racing even, they all have to carry extra ballast and they limit the turbo boost they can run. The braking and the cornering are astonishing, but when you come out of corners, it feels a bit like you've got the handbrake on. This is a GT3 car let off the leash completely. Alcon brakes, which when it all gets hot, the power they produce is just astonishing. And there's just so much grip and precision. I mean, nothing should change direction like this, but that's because it doesn't weigh much. It doesn't have to weigh. A normal GT3 car is all ballasted up 
This thing is only just over 1,200 kilos. And it's got 750 horsepower, which let's face it, that'll do. It just goes through so cleanly, so well. You feel the car move around a bit, but it's so well done. And then that's, that's pure GT3. That's a racing car that's had a proper amount of budget and money poured into it. But the problem is you can't race it. So this is not the McLaren's first rodeo with this type of car. It's very similar to what they've done before with the Senna GTR and the P1 GTR. It's a track-only hypercar. The difference, McLaren says, is that this car comes from the race team rather than the road car programme. It's built in a bay at Race HQ rather than trundling down the production line. McLaren says it's a very different experience to the Senna GTR, but for most of us, that's semantics. The difference more one of McLaren's internal politics than actual driving difference. I've driven a Senna GTR. This is less powerful, no lighter, and yet feels even more intense. But both are fighting it out in the same small pond. Which is faster? McLaren says this is, by several seconds a lap. So want to see how fast it can really go? Of course you do. Thank <laughs> you.